It's considered the birthplace of Montana, a ranch that's operated for 167 years. But more recently, it's been a source of controversy, an example of the struggle between public appreciation and the freedom of owning a piece of Montana. Now a new ranch owner is giving everyone a fresh start. It's one of the smallest units in the state park system, a single acre where Montana's modern history began, where today the conflict between public and private interests are grinding against each other. Access has always been a question here at Fort Owen with the historical site located right in the middle of a working cattle ranch. But the new owner says she recognizes the importance and legacy of this place to not only the Bitterroot, but the entire state of Montana. So she wants to work to find solutions. Well, I've gotten a few books on the history of Stevensville and Fort Owen <laughs> recently. <laughs> and I was uh, learning a little bit more about John Owen himself, and he seemed to be quite the... Uh, the entrepreneur, but uh, also very uh, conscious about uh, the community and, and, and others, the Indians and everything, and I, I, uh, I admire the guy. At a Stevensville press conference, successful Las Vegas businesswoman Myla Yaris was introduced as the new owner of the Fort Owen Ranch, getting a warm welcome from Steve I. Mayor Jim Cruz and other community leaders. That from the very beginning of our community, Fort Owen, and the environs, the ranch, and all of that have been the centerpiece. The fresh start comes after a year of turmoil. Fed up with uncontrolled partying, longtime owners the Caps family closed off the informal access at the Bitterroot River. Yaris wants to resolve those problems, but complimented the family for their stewardship. The riverfront is in pristine condition. The Burnt Fork Creek is clean and clear, and the pastures are healthy. Yaris plans to keep the historic land as a working cattle ranch, with possible additions like crops to be considered. Most of it is natural grass now. Um, I will look at soil types and maybe looking to do some creative things in the future. And while this is a new chapter for the ranch, Yaris is also clear that community and state agencies should come to the table with workable solutions. If the best location to launch watercraft is from the river frontage, that is owned by the ranch, there needs to be proper development of the site in order to protect the integrity of the property. I want to be clear that I'm a strong advocate of private property rights and I believe they should be respected. I believe that every, everything we have is on loan from God to be used but not abused. Yaris will take possession of the Fort Owen Ranch in Stevensville on January 1st.